district get a bag of bolts some pulleys brackets and no instructions um, I'm gonna go through now and we're gonna try to hook all this up on our our PPV and getting it ready for the LSA blower I did find some instructions online through GM performance I'm not sure exactly if it's the same one but um, I'm kind of using that as my guide so let's see how this goes I've got this three belt pulley that came with the kit from Boost District and we need to get it in here and replace this two belt pulley so we're gonna take this belt off and we'll get a, a puller I heard a tip from Terry on YouTube to use a Chrysler removal tool so we'll try that I've always just grabbed the th three jaw I don't know five ton or whatever three jaw pullers and it works but it always seems like I have to struggle with it so I'm gonna try Terry's tip of using the Chrysler removal tool and see if that works but yeah we gotta get these these swapped out these come on the Cadillac uh, CTSVs and the Camaro Z01 so the crank bolt is a or crank pulley bolt is 24 millimeter so we're gonna give the earthquake a shot at removing it here Earthquake for the wind. Now these aren't reusable, they're torque to yield. They're about four or five bucks. You get a new one, which I think the kit came with one. Um, ARP does sell a reusable one. I'm gonna pay a little bit more and grab that one. So we got the crank pulley bolt out. I've got this old one that I've shaved off the outside flange so it'll pass through the pulley. We're gonna install that. <clears throat> I was able to find the Chrysler Harmonic Dampener Puller at AutoZone for, as a loaner tool. So we'll give it a shot and see if Terry's way works or not. We got to take this little AC belt off too. Let's see. Uh oh. What did that just break? I don't sound it like it broke something. All right. Got that one off. Don't know how many miles are on these. I don't feel any play. Or noise, so we'll let them ride. So smooth. Here's the one I found at AutoZone. And it looks like this. Big jaws. Uh, so we're gonna back this out a little bit. All right, so it's a 19 millimeter. Two belt pulley removed. That seal's seen better days. All right, shout out to my buddy Terry on YouTube because this OEM tools kit, uh, it works. That wasn't too bad at all. And these teeth, look at the, look at the size of the, the teeth on this puller. That was a little, I like that way better. I have to remember that trick. Thanks, Terry. All right, so first step on getting this pulley installed is using some sort of uh, installer tool, which uh, is just a big piece of threaded rod or a longer crank bolt off of like an LS9 or LS7 or something. This is the stock one, it's too short. You could risk damaging the crank, stripping threads if you just go to install it with the bolt so these are like nine dollars eleven dollars on amazon just get you one of those 
or you can just get a uh, LS9 bolt, which is an inch or so longer than this one. But first, gotta get that on there, uh, just pre just by hand, but don't put any grease on the outside of this. The seal on the engine is Teflon and uh, could cause a leak. So you just put, that's dry. You can put a little grease on the inside of here to help you slide it on the snout, but no nothing on the outside. All right, so. These look like they have already a little keyway in them. We're gonna pin this crankshaft to uh, keep this from slipping. But I don't know if the LSA, the LSA that this car comes in has, it already has a keyway set up for it, but. Just gonna get that on there. Try and get that on there as straight as we can. Now we're gonna go ahead and install this uh, and tool here to get it. Get this thing pressed on. This one, this has seen better days. It's a little bit bent. So we're gonna drive this, uh, this nut down and push the pulley on. This pulley felt like it bottomed out. You can look at the, the pulley surfaces here and see if they line up with the AC and the accessories, and you can tell it's pretty close. I'm gonna back this thing off. We'll get a, a look at the snout and see where it is in relation with the pulley. So really all these installation tools are is a piece of threaded rod and some surfaces that, you know, the pulley can spin on. Um, pretty simple, just kind of presses the pulley on. Uh, way safer than trying to use the old bolt though. And you can tell this one's kind of bent. I don't know what happened over the years, but time for an upgrade. If you look in here, it's gonna kind of hard to, be hard to see from your angle, but uh, you see if the pulleys line up um, with everything. They're pretty close. Uh, one really good way to do it is look at the end of the snout. There's there's a specific distance that that snout's supposed to be recessed in there. And it says no more than 0.1725 or something like that. Yeah, no more than 0 0.175 inch from the innermost ridge of the balancer. And that looks, you know, less than a quarter of an inch. So I think we're good. Sorry, it won't focus. There we go. Yeah, you can see sitting right where we should be. The pulleys seem to be aligned, so. The next step is to pin the, the crank. So we got this little doohickey here with two pins in it. A couple things you're gonna need if you're gonna install one of these crank pulleys is some sort of installation tool to get the pulley pressed on. Don't use the old bolt, it's too short. It's not worth trying it, messing up your crank. Uh, some sort of tool to hold the flywheel because you have to torque this thing down to 240 and if you have an automatic the it's just the engine's just going to turn over without this little tool so this is like 20 bucks online it's just two bolts that drop the starter and it bolts in its place and holds the flywheel uh, it's nice to have an old bolt around. I mean, I guess you're going to have one if you're doing this anyways. Just use the old one to install the new bolt. Because if you're going back with the factory style, um, they want you to torque that down to 240 before doing the uh, putting the final new bolt back in. But yeah, it's really not too bad if you got a few things.
All right, so this next step with this bracket, you'll find three of these little medium-sized bolts that are the same. They're the only three that are the same. So those three will go one, two, three in this thing. And then you need a little guy for right here. And it looks like other things get mounted on these. But for now, we need these three, which it's easy to find. They're the only three. And then this little one. All four of these get a 37 foot-pounds on that. So that's how it looks like on the water pump. All right, so next is this bracket. You need two bolts that are 85 millimeters and one that is 50 millimeters long. They look about like that. So two at 85 and two at 50. And here's the torque specs on that. So it looks like this bracket gets mounted in the place of this old pulley. So we're gonna take take it loose here and get the new um, bracket on. Actually, this bracket goes above the water pump into the head. Uh, and one goes in from the side here. You gotta remove a ground strap that's on the head and there's a bracket here. But that's how this piece fits on. Right, so these are torqued to 37 foot-pounds as well, or 50 newton meters. There we go. Well, up next, the instructions call for the pulley that we moved from the head from up here. They wanted to put it down here on the water pump now, so uh, we're just moving that one down, reusing the hardware on that. So that's pretty simple. That to install these two pulleys uh, it calls for a 60 millimeter bolt on both of them and at this point you're kind of running out of bolts so it's getting kind of simple the larger pulley goes on the top and smaller below so we'll get those installed as far as I can tell these are it looks identical on both sides there's it looks symmetrical only thing different is there's a dot of green paint on this side. I mean, it's centered the same. Um, so I guess it doesn't really matter which direction this goes on there. So I got the two pulleys on finger tight. They go on that bracket that we installed earlier. Uh, and keeping with the theme of everything, these are also 50 Newton meters or 37 foot pounds on these two bolts. Last but not least is this tensioner for the supercharger. It's got one big bolt, the last bolt of the kit, pretty much the biggest one that passes through it. It's got a little nub on the bottom. You can see here on the car where the where that lines up. So just like that, we'll get that tightened down, and it's also 37 foot pounds or 50 newton meters. Got it all installed. You can see the placement of the pulleys. Um, the last step in the instructions was to install this pulley here on the generator bracket, but mine's already there. Uh, I'm guessing that's what this one bolt left over was for. Uh, but there, yeah, really it's pretty straightforward. I'm gonna post the, the link uh, for these instructions with all the torque specs in the description below. And this is from GM. Uh, made it pretty easy to do on the PPV. It's probably the same for any, like a G8 or anything running this LSA belt setup. All right, here's belt drive complete. No belt though. That's because we don't have the blower on yet. And that's coming up soon. I just wanted to get this part of the puzzle figured out, get all these pulleys where they needed to go and the brackets. So thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, if you want a hat, a uh, shirt, we got, all, we got a few different hats to pick from, bunch of shirts, all kinds of stuff, stickers, phone cases. I got the link in the description below. Check it out, help support the channel. Um, and like always, hit subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you on the next one.